One of the biggest mistakes I made early on in my training career was falsely believing that if I wanted to build muscle and get jacked, the most important thing was to always lift to failure. And it was also a tempting thing because I figured that, well, I could look at programming and periodization and technique and a whole host of other complicated science-based approaches to training, but the whole idea of, well, I'll just push as hard as I possibly can and that should create a stimulus for hypertrophy was a very tempting way to oversimplify my workouts. Plus, a lot of the research these days heavily suggests that one of the key stimuluses for building muscle and hypertrophy is to push those muscles to a high state of fatigue. So it only makes sense to think, well, if I always push to failure, then I know I'm really getting as much as I can out of the muscle every time, and that's gotta be the most effective approach, right? So I started to do exactly that. I didn't count reps, I didn't count sets, I just did everything right to failure, and it worked great for about a month or so, and then it quickly hit a plateau, and I spent a good, probably over a year, lifting as hard as possible with nothing to show for it. But there are many pitfalls to the strategy. For one, failure is actually a lot more of a subjective variable than we think it is. For example, sometimes we could be doing an exercise, and our stability is the limiting factor, so you're terminating the set not because you reach muscular failure, but technical failure. And we often can reach the limits of our motivation and mental focus. So I could do about 20 of these pretty easily on a physical level, but after about 15, I'm starting to get bored, I'm starting to get tired, I'm just not motivated, it's like, eh, that's good enough. So a lot of times this point to failure is more of a self-imposed illusion rather than an actual factual reality. And we may feel like we're pushing our muscles at their limit, but we're either hitting other limits or we're hitting internal limits and the muscles are still not that fatigued, so we're not creating as much of a stimulus for hypertrophy as you may think. But the biggest and most important reason why always lifting to failure may not be a good strategy is because it's giving us a different objective in our training than what we really should have. Because let's say, for example, I'm doing my usual workout and I'm always lifting one arm rows for 10 repetitions. Well, one, the more I do this, the more I'm habitually telling myself, you can only do 10 repetitions, so I'm going to feel like that 10th is about at my limit and it's gonna be a self-imposed limitation simply through habit. Plus, if you're always lifting the same way and subjecting the muscles to the same basic stimulus, what is there for new information telling it it needs to get bigger and stronger? It's always doing the same thing, regardless of whether or not you're reaching failure or not. So why would it get bigger and stronger if it can already be pretty proficient in what you're asking it to do? And therein lies the magic ingredient that we often miss when we always go to failure. Because when we want to make our body change in any way, shape, or form, we need to create a delta, a difference in our training. We need to make sure that something we're doing about our muscles is better and more advanced over time. And if there's no progression in our training, there's no need for the muscle to adapt to a higher level. So go to failure, don't go to failure, save a couple reps in the tank. Either way, it's perfectly fine. Just make sure that you're focusing on either working the muscle to a higher degree of intensity, aka more tension, maybe a little bit more volume or repetitions, or improving your technique. Either way, you wanna make sure your muscles are working harder and better progressively over time, and whether or not you're achieving failure with or without that is a secondary consideration. More videos here for your viewing pleasure. Thank you very much for watching. Be fit and live free.